This is the Helio Project Editor. You use it to create your HMI, decide how it should look, and connect the data points of your controller. At the top, we have the top bar. The Helio logo always takes you to the project overview. The tabs for content, data, style, and HMI users allow to access different work areas. On the right, you will find help with contact or support if you get stuck, undo, redo, and of course, save. In the center of your editor, you've got your HMI. However, this is not a preview, but the executable application with all its functions. Here you can select in which display size the HMI will be shown. The default sizes are a panel in full HD, a tablet in 4 to 3, and a normal smartphone. At any time, you can adjust those default sizes to meet your specific needs on the right-hand side. At the top right, you can switch between edit and test mode, and at the top left between placeholder and PLC data. So basically, if you switch to PLC data and test, you can actually operate the HMI. You can directly communicate with a PLC from Helio and check if the HMI is doing what it's supposed to. You don't need to go through the extra step of compiling. This helps you save so much time, which is pretty great. The content tree can be found on the left-hand side and it is of great importance. Not only does it provide a better overview, but it also helps to structure and design your HMI. This is where you create pages and add widgets or elements. Each page type has its own structure. For example, a dashboard has an area for widgets and a footer. The order of the widgets determines how the dashboard is filled with content and how this content is organized on different screen sizes. On the right, you can see the properties of the selected element in the content tree. You can select elements either in the tree or if edit mode is selected directly in the HMI by clicking on an element. Of course, the properties change depending on the selected element. A page has different properties than a gauge or a list. All right, so now you've got a basic understanding and you're all set for the next steps in getting your first HMI up and running.